Today's story is God at the door. There once lived an old woman in a small town. She prayed to God every day and wanted to meet him personally. One day, before going to bed, she remembered him intensely. That night, God appeared in her dream and promised to visit her the next day. When she woke up the next morning, she was very happy. She cleaned her house and arranged all the furniture to welcome God. Then she started preparing delicious food for God. After the preparation, she sat down near the fireplace in the living room waiting for God. After some time, someone knocked at the door. She rushed to open the door. She saw a salesman trying to sell some magazines. She was quite irritated and almost shouted, Please do not disturb me today. I am waiting for an important visitor. So keep my doorway clear. Do not waste my time. After some time, again someone knocked at the door. Again, she rushed to open the door expecting to see God. She was disappointed to see a neighboring girl who had come smelling the sweet aroma coming from the old woman's kitchen. The girl said, the sweet smell has drawn me to your house. Can I have some sweets please? She said to the girl angrily, I am sorry, but please do not disturb me today. As I am expecting an important guest today. Hours passed by and the day turned into night. There was no sign of God. She was disheartened and felt asleep, crying, thinking about God. God again appeared in her dream and said, My dear, I visited you twice today and you turned me away. She was surprised and said, It can't be. I waited for you all day, but there was no sign of you. When did you visit? God said, First I came as a salesman and then as the neighbor's little child. But both times you turned me away even without hearing what I had to say. The old woman realized her mistake and said, I did not recognize you. Oh Lord, please pardon me. I am so sorry. God said, I am present in everything and in everyone. And the moral of the story is, God is present in all his creations. Children, always remember, God speaks to us through his creations. So, we should first learn to feel his presence in all that he has created. Love and respect others by feeling God's presence in them. All glory be to God.